so fortunate that you were able to come in the middle of the night. I, I can't sleep. I'm very worried about my daughter's uh, future and her safety. And of course, you two men answered the casting call for, um, for, you know, being her future mate. Today it's April 1998, I think. 1980, 1998-99. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Brad, Mr. Adams. And I know it's very late, but I've been having nightmares about my daughter's future. And, the, you know, we, we did a casting call and did a contract, and you both seemed very interested in being plan A or plan B for her. Plan B, plan A, plan A, plan B. And uh, I just thought I should let you know a little bit about my daughter. My daughter is um, gonna be tortured all her life and still probably uh, try to be a nice kid. Um, we're trying to torture her into being a saint. And uh, of course uh, she's gonna be a virgin for most of her life, you know, and uh, be manipulated by most people she comes in contact. So it's very, it's, it's very important that uh, she finds true love, you know, initially at the end. And you guys are contracted for 20 years or so with her. So at the end, she needs like the authentic thing. So. For some reason, I, as a father, I was up to my buggy, just worried, you know, I, Brad, I've been seeing pictures of you and Miss Gwyneth Paolo, and uh, she's got this new Kama Sutra thing she was doing, this goopy goop thing. She's making a kombucha of her vagina water and selling it, it's called Gwynducha. I'm a little concerned. She's not. She doesn't wear the bras. You see the headlights. Does that seem to concern? I'm a little concerned as a father about Dana. You know, in the future, that's something. But, uh, and then, uh, Mr. Adams. You know, I'm a little worried about you. You know, I keep setting you up with ladies. And I just hear about you know, snorting oxycotton off their asses after shows. So what I was just going to ask you guys, since my daughter is going to be tortured all her life, you know, made fun of, you know, we're going to put Klondike bars in the refrigerator referring that she's a lesbian, square Klondike bars, and um, her life's going to be pretty fucking miserable. But I promise you this, guys, she's going to be beautiful in the end. I'll make sure she's still beautiful. She still have all her teeth. And uh, she's going to be a billionaire. And not bad looking. So I was just wondering if you guys could just do a couple things for me for this next 20 years. Not get any sexually transmitted diseases, either of you. Can you do that? Okay. And I was wondering if you could keep your sexual numbers low. Like, uh, if you're waiting for her for 20 years, let's say maybe 20 sexual encounters. How much money, Miss Adams? Oh, she, she's going to be over like a $20 billion lady. Oh, you can just do 10 lady, 10, 10, 10 fucks in 20 years. Because uh, I have a feeling my daughter's numbers are going to be very low. And she's going to want someone whose their numbers are very low, too. You know, we've been torturing her about her body her whole life and making her date assholes and make her feel like shit about herself. So, you guys think you could maybe just hold back? I, you know, if, if I was a smart man, I would have cloned Christopher Reeves or the Dalai Lama or someone with a lot of integrity, but I'm not that smart. And I, I'm assuming uh, Bob or someone will, or Joan will keep you accountable you know, make sure you 
is someone that my daughter would want to be with in 20 years. She's going to be a real prize. A real prize. So I'm, I'm just asking you to maybe not sleep with a lot of ladies. Don't get any STDs. STDs. Don't make fun of her publicly online. Harass her. Because this could be the, the mother of your children one day. And, and, and maybe a saint in the, in the Catholic Church. I don't know. We gotta just sh shake the gay out of it. I don't know. But we, uh, but she might be like this real special thing. You know, one in the entire world that's ever going to happen. So I think, you know, it, it's not a lot of, you to, of me to ask of you to maybe just, since you are, have the opportunity out of all the men in the world, you too, either one of you, to maybe not fuck everyone you see, you know, and maybe keep everything clean and sacred. I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but I'm just saying we're trying to make her into a saint and a virgin Mary, and I, and I, I feel like, you know, you, you guys said you really wanted to be with her. It shouldn't be a big deal, right? Okay. So I'm just going to have you sign off on these things. That you're not going to be mean to her in the future publicly. You're not going to sleep with a lot of people, you know. And pick up a lot of gem, jemmy gems. And, you know. Be something she'd be real proud of and not afraid of to jump in the sack with one day. Okay. All right. Because, you know, she, she wants to be a mom. You know, you think of, think about your mom, your sister. Your most prized possession. She's my most prized possession. That's why I treat her like shit. But um, it's really her mom that treats her like shit. But I'll tell her later. But um, anyhow, so the most special girl in the entire universe. I think you could you know, low off the hose and blows for a little while, you know. Okay. I'm glad we're on an agreement here. A buggy, 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 buggy's busy. I'm busy, but I just have nightmares about my daughter and her future in her 40s, you know. What if she gets really stressed out or gets some autoimmune disease or some brain damage and can't have the life that she really wanted? Wouldn't it be sad that she'd end up with some shit bags that didn't really respect her? So that's why I'm having this conversation in 1998, making sure she's not going to get any shit bags in the future or douchebags or... Okay, I don't have to worry. Okay, I'm going to go take a, a nighty night pill and just saw off. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll let the casting directors work with you further on your look and your styles. Oh, by the way, my daughter's Mexican and Jewish. So I hope you're attracted to Mexican women and Jewish women. It doesn't look like you are, but she's real pretty. Okay.